These clips are the kind of videos that are going to make you feel things, think things, and perhaps change things. They're that interesting and unexpected. If anything, you'll just have more questions when we're done. The Harry Potter invisibility cloak is a thing now. Portals between two different locations exist. Worms frozen for thousands of years have come back to life. Is it magic? No, but it is indeed thrilling to discover. Can you handle the truth? Here are 15 things that'll make you say, I had no idea, part three. Disgusting dust mites. You can only see these critters under a microscope, and even then they look like small white spider-like creatures. Ready to be grossed out? They're prevalent in people's homes because they feed off of dead skin cells. On an average day, one person may shed one and a half grams of dead skin, which can feed up to one million dust mites at a time. They make their homes in places where dead skin cells are most likely to accumulate, such as bedding, furniture, and carpeting. Rugs and stuffed animals also make good homes for dust mites. Grossed out yet? Since they can burrow themselves deep into cloth fibers, they can travel with you and they cause allergies. In fact, they also leave behind skin and fecal matter that may also trigger allergies. Dust mites are one of the most common allergy and asthma triggers that lurk inside of your home. You're also more likely to have other allergy symptoms, such as sneezing and post-nasal drip. If you have continuous allergy symptoms throughout the year, it may be worth talking to a doctor about possible dust mite allergies. There are ways you can manage dust mite populations in your home while also treating your allergies, However, they're difficult to get rid of completely. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Real life invisibility cloak. Finally, a real life invisibility cloak is here. A quantum technology made cloth that can reflect the light wave so it appears to make a person disappear. A Canadian camouflage company, Hyperstealth Biotechnology, patented the technology with a material called Quantum Stealth. Although it conceals objects close enough to be invisible to the naked eye, the material also conceals anything from infrared and ultraviolet imagers. The technology uses metamaterials or supermaterials. They're engineered to have a property that seems to defy nature. When light goes through the material, it disperses sideways and follows a specific path to reach the same exact point as if the signal did not encounter any interruptions. Visually, it seems that the object inside the metamaterials sphere has disappeared. If you know anything about the wonderful world of Harry Potter, then you know many characters benefited from the use of an invisibility cloak. You wrap it around yourself and like magic, you just disappear. The creators hope that one day, invisibility technology can be developed to ensure that objects cannot be seen from any angle, people, buildings, military bases, and they claim it could have important security, entertainment, and surveillance applications. We've got to agree. <laughs> Extra spooky Halloween pumpkins. Do you love Halloween? This trick will take your spook game to the next level. You can have Frankenstein on your pumpkins in a way that's much more cool than a mere carving. In this case, Frankenstein's monster is the pumpkin. Jim Siemens of the Cache Valley Giant Pumpkins in Benson, Utah, created this great way to get more monsters in your life. If you grow your own pumpkins, this is for you. To make these festive Halloween jack-o'-lanterns in the shape of Frankenstein heads, Siemens uses plastic molds that hold the visage of the monster shape of any vegetable that grows inside of them. In this instance, as the pumpkins bloom, the molds squeeze them into the shape of the monster's face. Then all you need to do is unscrew the nuts and bolts holding the plastic molds in place. That's all it takes to make Franken pumpkin. This farmer has seen his Franken pumpkin videos go massively viral. The clip above him showing off how to make his monstrous winter squash, for example, has already garnered more than 24 million views. Take your Halloween skills to a whole new level with these freaky molds. It sure is a fun way to spook up your garden. The country where it never gets dark. Sweden's midnight sun is a natural phenomenon occurring in the summer months and means that the sun can be seen even in the middle of the night. It might mess with your head for the first few days after you arrive, so pack a sleeping mask if you want to get some shut-eye. Even the people who live here have problems sleeping. 
Past midnight, you can get 18 holes at a golf course in the Arctic Circle. In fact, you can get as many rounds in as you want since there's no sunset. Just think what else you could accomplish. The more adventurous traveler could always take on the challenge of scaling Sweden's highest mountain, go skiing, you name it. For your very own midnight sun experience, Swedes pick a quiet spot with uninterrupted views, which is not a problem in this part of the world, and bathe in the rays of the unique and spectacular phenomenon. Succumb to the light and be dazzled into staying vertical for as long as you can to enjoy the unique part of the world. You can sleep when you get home. Summertime is usually between the end of May and mid-July. However, the further north you go, the longer the midnight sun will last. <laughs> Woman can smell Parkinson's disease. Researchers in Manchester have identified the molecules on the skin linked to the smell and hope it could lead to early detection of disease. Thanks to this person, this Scottish woman astonished doctors with her ability to detect Parkinson's disease through smell and has helped scientists find what causes the odor. Talk about sensitive smell. The study was inspired by Joy Milne, the retired nurse from Perth in Australia. But it wasn't until later in life that she showed her hidden talent. She first noticed a musky smell on her husband, who was years later diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. The research revealed that a number of compounds were found in higher than usual concentrations on the skin of Parkinson's patients. They're contained in sebum, the oily secretion that coats everybody's skin, but which is often produced in greater quantities by people with Parkinson's. Approximately 60,000 Americans are diagnosed with this disease each year, and more than 10 million people worldwide are living with it. The three primary symptoms are all motor symptoms, tremor, rigidity, or stiffness and slowness of movement. Joy's strong sense of smell and the science behind it could help detect this disease much earlier. <laughs> Birds can talk. The bird was filmed pronouncing, my name is Nuggets and I'm a big fat chicken in footage filmed at her home in Hilo, Hawaii. The clip was uploaded to TikTok where videos of the talking bird have been viewed millions of times. This minor bird thinks she's a chicken and has become an internet hit with hilarious performances of her favorite phrases. She's also able to cluck like a hen and make a disgusting burp sound. However, it seems her chicken phase is the biggest hit with the fans. If you want a chatty, intelligent bird to share your home, then the tropical minor bird is the pet for you. Its striking features and friendly personality make this bird a favorite among bird enthusiasts who consider the minor one of the best avian mimics of human speech. Their preferred habitat is fairly open country, and they eat insects and fruits. Some species have become well known for their imitative skills. Native to Southern Asia, especially India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh, several species have been introduced to areas like North America, Australia, and South Africa. This pet received her name because she stole her owner's chicken nugget. Nugget's first word was stay because she would tell her dogs to remain in their place. Pearls are secretly disgusting. Pearls are made by marine oysters and freshwater mussels as a natural defense against an irritant such as a parasite entering their shell or damage to their fragile body. Did you know that? But accessing them is messy business. Here's how it works. The oyster or mussel slowly secretes layers of aragonite or conchylin, materials that also make up its shell. This creates a material called mother of pearl, which encases the irritant and protects the mollusk from it. On average, less than one in every 10,000 wild oysters contain pearls. The overall population of wild oysters also remain affected by previous overfishing, which further increases the rarity associated with natural pearls. Pearls, which are often viewed as a timeless classic gemstone, have been a popular feature of jewelry for a lot longer than you may realize. The first pearl dates back over 7,500 years when pearls are cultured commercially in large amounts. An irritant is manually inserted into the mollusk to promote the production of mother of pearl. Although pearls are still considered to be a gemstone, they're difficult to compare to others, such as rubies or diamonds. They're the only gemstone to come from a living creature with all others being created under the Earth's crust. So, make sure you wear some gloves. <laughs> Worms frozen in time. Imagine getting a wake-up call after being asleep for 4,200 years. That's what's happened here. In Siberia, melting permafrost is releasing microscopic worms that live in soil called nematodes. These little worms have been suspended in a deep freeze. 
They're from the area of the geological epoch that lasted from 2.5 million to 11,000 years ago, spanning the world's most recent period of repeated glaciations. So, this is a welcome surprise indeed. Despite being frozen for tens of thousands of years, two species of these worms were successfully revived. The researchers' findings represent the first evidence of multicellular organisms returning to life after a long-term slumber in Arctic permafrost. Though nematodes are tiny, they're known to possess impressive abilities. Some are found living 0.8 miles below Earth's surface, deeper than any other multicellular animal. One of the worms was found near the Alizia River in 2015 and is believed to be about 4,100 years old. The other worm was found in 2002 in a fossil rodent burrow near the Kolima River. These samples were taken from about 100 feet underground and lived after 4,200 years. <laughs> Tree turbines Conventional wind turbines have been criticized as ugly, large, and often so noisy they're too obtrusive for backyards. So a company designed a generator with 63 micro wind turbines that look like leaves on a tree. The company wants to encourage sustainable living in urban environments with its quiet, aesthetically pleasing product. But a French firm called New Wind wants to change the turbine game with the Wind Tree, a 26-foot tall tree fitted with tiny blades that can generate electricity. Essentially micro wind turbines called aero leaves, these trees' leaf-like blades work at speeds as low as 4.5 miles per hour, regardless of the wind's direction. They're also silent, so they could theoretically be installed along buildings, streets, or even in our own yards. Each tree can generate approximately 3,500 kilowatt hours to 13,500 kilowatt hours annually, and has the ability to power 15 street lamps, 83% of the electrical consumption of a typical family household, or one electrical car for 10,000 miles in a year. Micro wind turbines could be key to making urban environments more sustainable. The goal of each tree is to generate electricity that's used by nearby infrastructure or services. The first wind tree prototypes were created in 2013 and are now available for commercial sale. <laughs> deepest Swimming Pool on Earth The world's deepest swimming pool has opened in Dubai with a depth of 196 feet and a water volume equivalent to six Olympic-sized swimming pools, only in Dubai. The city's newest attraction is at least four times larger than any other pool in the world and superseded Poland's deep spot, measuring 147 feet, for the Guinness World Record. The pool, called Deep Dive, includes a massive underwater city of abandoned homes and an arcade. The attraction is billed as a family-friendly day out with diving courses for beginners and advanced divers, but there are also tours. And for those who don't fancy a dip in the water, can watch from an 80-seat restaurant equipped with large windows and TV screens. It's housed in an oyster-shaped structure and surrounded by gushing water features. The complex also doubles as an underwater film studio with state-of-the-art lighting and sound systems and an editing room nearby. The site boasts 56 cameras dotted around the underwater city and an advanced hyperbaric chamber for emergencies, which is expected to launch by the end of the year. High-profile guests include actor Will Smith and Dubai's Crown Prince have already visited the pool. Hmm. Horseshoe crab blood saves lives. Horseshoe crab blood is bright blue. Beyond that, did you know it has incredible powers? It contains important immune cells that are exceptionally sensitive to toxic bacteria. When those cells meet invading bacteria, they clot around it and protect the rest of the horseshoe crab's body from toxins. It doesn't end there. Scientists use these blue blood cells to develop a test which checks new vaccines for contamination. This technique has been used all over the world since the 1970s to stop medical professionals giving out jabs full of bad bacteria that could make humans very sick. In many parts of the world, researchers will be relying on these blue-blooded crabs for many important tests. And since we sometimes need to vaccinate millions of people in a short space of time, horseshoe crabs could make a huge difference. That's power. More than 100 different vaccines are being tested in the hope that one will work. The successful jabs will have to be carefully checked before they're rolled out. It's great for humans because vaccines save us from all sorts of unwanted diseases, including measles and mumps. It's not so great for the horseshoe crabs. Thousands of them are rounded up and bled every year. The portal between two cities. It's described as a kind of digital bridge, according to its creators, and we can see why. 
The city of Vilnius, Lithuania has an interesting solution, a real-time portal to another city. This city installed a circular door for the portal near its train station that connects to a portal in Poland, roughly 375 miles away. The portals both have large screens and cameras that broadcast live images between the two cities, meant to encourage people to rethink the meaning of unity. The circle design, meant to evoke the wheel of time, was designed by engineers at the Creativity and Innovation Center in Lithuania. They really went all in on the idea and the design. It looks quite a bit like something out of the throwback sci-fi movie Stargate. It was five years in the making, and there are plans to add portals in other cities in the future, organizers say. Meaningful projects like this one are born with diverse people succeeding and work together in achieving synchronicity. Works for us. It really is a window into another place. Now, don't we all want one in our cities? People visit often and make signs to share with their friends on the other side, so to speak. It was created in a government-funded design challenge to promote tourism in their cities, and it definitely worked. <laughs> Time traveling islands. While Alaska may be the biggest U.S. state, four-fifths of the state territory can be reached only by air, and a lot of small towns would have been completely isolated were it not for small planes. Despite being separated by a couple miles, the Diomede Islands find themselves not only in different countries, but also 20 hours apart. Big Diomede is a part of Russia, and it's an easternmost point and is its easternmost point. An invisible line runs between the islands and inspired the nicknames Yesterday and Tomorrow Islands. Big Diomede and Little Diomede sit on opposite sides of the international date line. Due to that, we literally time travel when traveling between them. For many years, both islands had a small native population. It's now unpopulated and the only structure in use on the island is a Russian weather station. The community is on the island of Little Diomede in the middle of the Bering Strait, right between Alaska and Russia. The town is located on a small beach on the island's western side, meaning that Russia's Big Diomede and even the mainland are visible from the homes. When you look at the Big Diomede Island, you're looking into the future. Man-made hole deeper than the ocean While the US and USSR vied for space exploration supremacy during the space race, a different, less publicized race took place during the two nations' greatest drillers. In the late 1950s and early 1960s, Americans and Soviets began planning separate efforts to drill as deep as possible into the Earth's crust, the rocky shell that comprises the outer 20 to 30 miles of the 4,100-mile distance to our planet's core. It's near the Russian border with Norway on the Kola Peninsula. The project attempted to drill as deep as possible into the Earth's crust and has been, since 1989, the deepest artificial point on Earth. From 1970 to 1994, their drill has chipped slowly away at the deepest hole in the world. In actuality, the Kola Super Deep Borehole consists of several holes branching from one central hole. The deepest hole is called SG3, and it extends down a staggering seven and a half miles. That's roughly a third of the way up the continental crust. But the most intriguing discovery made by the borehole researchers is the detection of biological activity in rocks more than two billion years old. The drilling itself was forced to stop in the early 1900s, but the Kola Super Deep Borehole remains one of the most important relics of science ever. <laughs> World's Longest Beak The sword-billed hummingbird is a South American species that thrives in Argentina, Bolivia, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, and Venezuela. They average five and a half inches in length, not including its more than four inch long bill, and is one of the largest species of hummingbirds. The sword-billed hummingbird's name has been derived from its extraordinary long beak that sets it apart from any other birds. Its beak is longer even than the rest of its body, excluding its tail, and kind of looks like a sword. Their extremely elongated bills and equally long tongues allow them to feed on flowers with long corollas. They can go really deep with that beak. They primarily feed on nectar taken from a variety of brightly colored, scented small flowers of trees, herbs, and shrubs. They favor flowers with the highest sugar content and seek out and aggressively protect those areas containing flowers with high energy nectar. It takes a lot of energy to be a hummingbird. They use their long, extendable, straw-like tongues to retrieve the nectar while hovering with their tails cocked upward. And the speed is incredible. They're licking at the nectar up to 13 times per second. Sometimes they may be seen hanging on the flower while feeding. 
but they disappear quickly. They're that fast. You get the idea now, don't you? And we're here for it. How can you not be inspired by these fascinating videos? Make sure to smash that like and subscribe and stick around for more. Mm-hmm. <laughs>